right, it's been a dramatic day here in Flint all the way to Lansing on the fourth anniversary of the Flint River water switch. Now, of course, the busloads of people headed to the Capitol to get their voices heard. That change will come. The ears will be open. The eyes will be open. The people that need to hear us will listen to us and bring change. They Demonstrators pray together before making the bus trip from Flint to the state capitol. On the four-year anniversary of the faithful switch to the Flint River water, people in Flint worry their voices are still not being heard. It's cold-blooded murder. Yeah. The Flint H2O Justice Coalition teamed up with residents to protest in Lansing today. These folks say it's been four years too long. And with Governor Rick Snyder closing the water pods just weeks ago, many people are angry. Governor Snyder was dismissing of Flint residents' ongoing concerns about water safety and suggested that they just get over it. Activists marched from outside of the state capitol all the way to the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality, even carrying a symbolic casket to represent lives that may have been lost due to unsafe water. Some Flint City Councilors came out to show their support and demand action as well. Fighting for what's definitely right. It's been four years way too long. And it's time for us to see some action on this. Uh, all the pipes have not yet been replaced. It was a shame when we seen the governor take away the bottled water for residents who are relying on this. Our water is still not safe. Uh, there's still high lead levels in residents and schools. And, uh, and so bacteria is an issue. Uh, and residents don't trust that our water is safe. The group made their way back to Flint City Hall this afternoon to make sure that local government knows and they have a hand in all of this too. Until the lead lines are replaced, filters and bottled water should be available to all residents. All right. Yeah. Now, many people that I talk to at these rallies say that the Flint water crisis still, of course, affects their everyday life from cooking to showering. And they say that the closing of the pods made their life even worse. Right now, reporting in downtown Flint, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV5.